crude oil WTI has got the stronger resistance at $80 levels and since then has traded bearish yesterday throughout the day as expected and we had expected it to drop a bit and see 78.8 levels provided it a good support as we knew 78.5 the below that is going to be very very good support because below which further bearishness will be seen and it respected the levels and likewise ng has traded bullish so far ng has uh, in fact got the maximum resistance at 3.48 levels failing to break past now what to expect today is it going to remain bullish today again natural gas and can we expect a break on crude oil can it drop further which position you should take in order to profit today we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon the next update on crude oil will be released before the US cash session so do watch that also let's start first we'll look into crude oil followed with natural gas do watch till the end do listen to it carefully no down the levels and trade as per the levels now see crude oil on the early charts has seen a support here at 79 and 78.8 zone see 79 definitely is a good support and below that 78.4 78.5 levels if these two supports are taken then you can confirm that it is trying to drop or it is trying to crash till towards the next target that is 77.5 77 levels which are very very strong support levels now if you look at ng here uh, if you look at crude oil on the early charts it is trying to trade in this bearish channel and it is trying to break it uh, on the upside this time so once it trades beyond 79.8 again rather i will say any buy opportunity is only about uh, 80 dollar levels beyond which you can remain bullish and if you want to sell you can sell below 79 once it trades below 79 we can remain in sell again but we'll look into further detail directional movement here is moderately bearish stochastic is looking upwards the MACD is bearish trying to converge crossover for a bullish move on the early charts RSI is looking upwards and if you look at the 2 hour charts now look at the 2 hour charts similarly on the 2 hour charts see 20 period moving average which was the support before now it is going to be the resistance here I'll wait and see how it behaves here at 20 period moving average which is 79.5 levels which is also a good resistance level because beyond which it can try to attempt and achieve $80 levels again so be observant there right now it is trying to now see if you look at connect the highs there you can see 79.6 79.7 levels which is a very good support resistance level on the downside 78.5 is certainly appears to be achievable now see directional movement on the chart is bearish it is trying to converge stochastic looking upwards the MACD is bearish trying to converge cross over here RSI is also trying to show little strength there now look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts see drop now this is kind of retracement which is trying to be seen possibly uh, I will watch and observe more how it behaves at around 79.8 80 dollar levels because beyond which it is going to certainly fly high and see it has created a base at 79 so you have to remain observant here at 79 possibly it may get very strong support so below 79 only you can you are recommended to sell crude oil directional movement here is divergent and bullish stochastic looking upwards the MACD is bearish trying to converge crossover for a buy RSI looking upwards again and if you look at 4 hour chart see on the 4 hour chart 3 red candles 1 green candle 3 red candles 1 green candle similar pattern in observed lower lows lower highs are getting observed and only buy opportunity above 80 dollar levels below 79 you can sell similar observation nothing different directional movement bullish stochastic rising from the oversold zone and that is why we are looking at a greener candle here the MACD is still divergent and bearish and this crossover is happening at a high we can see it continuing with the bearish momentum for a while RSI looking upwards showing little strength and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts here see on the daily charts a uh, new candle on uh, this broker is yet to start so this is yesterday's candle this is trying to close the day with a doji here so possibly it may close somewhere here around and then the next candle when it appears it can try to trade bearish because see certainly it is bullish here 74 is the base with the base at 74 oil is reversed and now see after this reversal it is retraced lower highs are seen and now it is trying to retrace again on the downside so right now it appears oil is in the phase of consolidation and only and only if it breaks past 81.582 you can consider this for a bullish breakout 
so possibly right now it is trying to retrace 78 77 levels are certainly appears to be achievable directional movement moderately bullish trying to converge here stochastic is overbought here on the daily chart the macd is bullish here and probably from here it might try to converge a bit rsi trading flat considering this you can sell at 79 and rather you should wait for a uh, yesterday's low that is 79.76 or 79 78.8 levels below which for the bearish might take it till towards 78.5 78.0 uh, levels and below 78 77.5 77 are the next target and you can buy its 80 where you can expect 80.5 81 81.5 82 till 82 it has got very very good resistance only above 82 you can consider this to trade bullish take your positions accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the tailing stop loss now let's have a look at natural gas and before we proceed yes if you want to learn the art of trading profitably you can join my mentorship batch the 19th mentorship batch starts on first week of february join this batch reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now ng on the early charts yesterday a gap up was seen it has got the support here at 3.338 levels you can see multiple candles getting the support here and now it is trying to look upwards today again it has given a gap up and it is trying to trade bullish on the upside now see 3.48 was providing it a resistance because it was trading in this box and this is trying to give a breakout trading above 3.52 you can expect that the next target is going to be 3.6 levels so you can keep the positions accordingly however one must also not forget that it was trading bearish here and it is trying to reverse now possibly we are looking forward to 3.6 levels now if you look at the directional movement it is bullish stochastic is overbought macd is bullish rsi is looking upwards on the hourly charts and if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too after consolidating here for a while now it is trying to trade bullish possibly 3.5 3.52 levels may provide a little resistance on the upside and beyond that if it breaks past 3.5 to the target is 3.6 levels beyond that sky is the limit on the upside see it is trying to reverse after long long time and hence might continue to trade bullish directional movement is moderately bullish stochastic looking up macd divergent and bullish rsi looking up and if you look at the three r charts on the three r charts as well see higher lows are seen higher highs are seen it is trying to trade in this channel and i'll wait for it to break past 3.45 or rather uh, 3.4 levels below which you can expect it to trade bearish directional movement divergent and bullish stochastic looking up macd divergent and bullish rsi is also looking upwards now look at the four r charts so on the four r charts green candles retracement green candles so now if you connect the dots from here you will observe that uh, certainly the levels here at around 3.58 3.5 uh, i will say 3.58 3.6 is certainly an achievable level and today itself so beyond 3.52 you can further expect it to rise more and uh, only sell entry i will recommend today is below 3.4 levels 3.42 levels below which you can expect it to remain bearish for a little directional movement moderately bullish here stochastic looking up macd divergent and bullish rsi looking upwards here and if you look at the daily charts see on the daily charts higher lows and this candle is yet to close possibly it may close at around 3.5 3.52 and from there the next candle can take it further up towards 3.6 level so it is trying to trade bullish and possibly showing a reversal sign on the weekly charts as well we can expect net gas to trade bullish from here for a little while till towards 3.8 3.4 4 uh, dollar levels directional movement here moderately bearish stochastic near to the bottom looking upwards macd has crossed over and it is a bullish cross it can continue to trade bullish from here the rsi is also trading oversold and now trying to come out of the oversold zone this appears that for the day only sell entry is below 3.4 levels Till the time it trades about 3.4 rather i will say 3.38 and with the stop loss at 3.38 one can stay long for 3.6 and in fact 3.7 to 3.8 levels for this week so keep your trades accordingly take your trades accordingly 
every drop till towards 3.45 you can buy net gas for 3.5 to 3.58 3.6 and in fact plus plus levels can also be expected take your trades accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you